Professional football in America is a special game, a unique game. Played nowhere else on earth, it is a rare game. The men who play it make it so. One of these men is Jack Lambert, the feared middle linebacker of the powerful Pittsburgh Steelers. Legend has it, he ate glass and pounded his head against lockers before waging war. He announced on a Monday night game that he hailed from Buzzard's Breath, Wyoming. He decreed that all quarterbacks should wear dresses. He was Count Dracula in cleats, the remorseless linebacker for Pittsburgh. Do you think there should be any rules changes for the safety of the quarterback? Well, uh, it might be a good idea to put dresses on all of them. Jack Lambert has taken on Cowboys, Redskins, Raiders, and Vikings. Jack Lambert was the single most intimidating force in football. Probably because he was toothless. Limited teeth. You know, with the no front teeth. With the Dracula fangs. He looks like Count Dracula in cleats. And I turned around and I looked at the guy. And what I realized, when he took his thing out, he didn't have his teeth up front. I went, wow. <laughs> No teeth, he's snarling, he's spitting, he's yelling at me, and I'm going, God, you can have all the money back. You can just just blink me out of here right now. I'll go beat an accountant. I'll get you next time. <laughs> and probably because he looked kind of like a madman. Just his uh, Clint Eastwood ways. I don't care that, that my opponents like me. I care that they respect me, though. He was just going to do everything he could to make you feel pain. Until I heard the whistle. The single most intimidating force in the history of football. I can't believe it. Jack Splat is really going to ride Kenny Woods' new raging rapid. <laughs> Jack Lambert, revenge is always sweet. And guess who's coming with me, Myron? In high school, John Harold Lambert was a skinny quarterback and sharp-elbowed basketball player. However, in 1974, the Steelers picked him as a backup outside linebacker. Ham and Russell were fixtures there, but when inside linebacker Henry Davis was injured, a terror was unleashed. When the Steelers drafted Jack Lambert out of Kent State, he carried barely 200 pounds on his 6'4 frame. One of the Steelers' uh, administrative people looked at him, said, who's that? They said, that's our number two pick. And he goes, well, another wasted pick. To look at Lambert, he doesn't look like a middle linebacker. At 6'5", 218 pounds. And hopefully when it's all over, you can look back on your career and be proud of it, you know, as I am of mine. If I could start my life all over again, I would be a professional football player, and you damn well better believe I'd be a Pittsburgh Steeler.